this study before, but I think it's a great example as to how much human beings dislike being bored. It's the reason why solitary confinement is considered one of the least humane forms of torture imaginable. There's this ancient torture method where they basically just throw somebody down a hole under the castle and forget about them, like for their entire lives. Number 15, the oubliette. The last thing you'd want after stealing a cup of buckwheat is to end up in one of these motherfuckers. Isn't that, that sounds terrible because it's so boring. If you are put in an empty room with nothing to do except one thing, unless that thing is like chop off your hand, you're probably gonna do that thing. And while you're doing that thing, that thing will feel so much more entertaining than doing nothing. So you have to ask yourself, what are you constructing your life around? How are you structuring things? Are the things that you're supposed to do entertaining in comparison to the things that you use as distractions? Because the larger the disparity, the more agonizing that thing will be. And you'll find very quickly that if you delete distractions as an option, it works right away. It's insane. This isn't like some dopamine detox that you got to do over weeks and months and years, although that will help you get used to finding the entertainment value in difficult things. This is something that works right away because your brain needs to, to survive. It hates feeling bored, so it will make whatever your only option is as entertaining as it needs to. I even have personal evidence for this. One of the most productive, social, and energetic times in my entire life is when I was living in a little 900 square foot basement suite in the middle of suburbia with absolutely nothing to do except edit videos. Okay, so here's